As many of you know, we spent the last four years producing a documentary on Senator Mark Hatfield. It's probably one of the finest things that I will ever get to do in my life because he was a fine man. Uh, the DVD is finally ready and I'm excited to tell you about that because I want you to get, get this somehow so you can see who he was and what he did. So for $30 you can get the DVD. For $50 you can get the DVD plus an hour extra. These are interviews that we could not fit into the Hatfield documentary but they're so valuable and you will enjoy them as much as you will the documentary. In addition, we really want people to see this, so we found another way to do this. You can upload your own copy. You can download it right off the computer for $15. Or, I know, there's more. For $2.99, you can rent it, sit down over the weekend and watch it. And then if you would, do me a favor. Once you watch it, any way you get it, get a hold of me. Send me an email at rick at rickdancer.com and tell me what you think. A gentleman of the highest order and uh, well respected. He saw a tapestry that very few people saw. Most people see threads. He saw the tapestry. I learned a lot because people would say to me, well, Mark Hatfield, he's a Republican, therefore X, Y, Z. Well, no, he's not that kind of Republican. You can't label him uh, that way and, and describe him with any integrity. So the irony of this is that the atomic bomb may have saved his life. And then seeing what the effect of the atomic bomb was on people caused him to devote much of his life to um, the elimination, if possible, of these weapons from the face of the earth. We all owe our present existence, our successes and the good things that we've been able to do for our people. We all owe that to the efforts of the Senator. You cannot make a deity out of somebody. That's wrong. And I think the, the, the folks realize that, that he had some shortcomings too. Like he was a human being like everybody else. And I remember going into the meeting and Mark was sitting in a chair kind of in the middle of the room and no other senator was sitting around him. And I went and I sat next to him. And by and large, we were able to convince the group we're, we're not going to start taking people's chairmanships away because of one vote. But afterwards, Mark thanked me a lot. He said that was one time when he really felt lonely. But the way he survived the tough times, where he clearly turned to his faith and depended on it, on it completely, are the times when we really got that. I think what is perfectly evident is you don't have a person who hedged and trimmed throughout his career and was courageous at isolated moments. You have a courageous person throughout a career who at very specific moments demonstrated that courage in very vivid ways. I think he has left a, a wonderful example for people to follow, but I think individuals have to be willing to lose. And so many just want to get reelected so badly. Uh, Mark Hatfield was ready to lose. I mean, he didn't want to lose, but he was willing to lose if it meant going down over what he stood for. And I, I just I worry that there won't be another one. It's hard to hard to imagine that there could be. I don't know how you'll see another Mark Hatfield, but I hope so. <laughs>